Hi, I'm Chet Porcho, and I am so excited to be back with an all new episode of Chet Chat. So this month we're celebrating fall, fashion and design trends with a look at a spectacular parade. So guys, let's do this. Design show, Chet Chat. Design show, Chet Chat. I'm Chet Porcho, and I've got designs. I'm Chet Porcho, and I've got designs. I'm Chet Porcho, and I've got designs for New Orleans. I'm Chet Porcho on LAE. I'm Chet Porcho on LAE. Chet Chat on LAE. Chet Chat on LAE. I'm Chet Porcho, and I've got designs for New Orleans. You know, my first guest knows a thing or two about Mardi Gras, and now he's bringing carnival spirit to Halloween with Crew of Boo. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you, Chet. So tell us about Crew of Boo. Well, the Crew of Boo was actually started by my father right after Hurricane Katrina. It was, uh, uh, he wanted to do something for the first responders in New mm -hmm. Orleans, and it rolled in 2009, 10, and 11, uh -huh. um, and for three years as the Crew of Boo for two of those years, and then he renamed it the crew of Halloween, right. didn't roll for a couple of years, and uh, I was at a parade a few years ago, and I'm getting showered with all these beads, uh -huh. and I'm not picking them up, but I'm going, wow, this is kind of wasteful, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, I was, I, I said, this is, I, I want to see some different things right. thrown that I actually want, and uh, I started thinking, I said, you know, we've got great products here in New Orleans, why don't we start throwing those from the parade, and uh, I said, you know, why not tr re uh, bring back the, the crew of Boo, and right. I did in 2013 last year, and everything we threw last year was produced pretty much in the state of Louisiana, mm -hmm. and uh, it went off real well. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to be received, because mm -hmm. we weren't throwing as much as you would in a typical parade, right. uh, because the, the items are a little bit more costly. However, mm -hmm. when you catch something at that parade, you're catching something you really want, like an Aunt Sally's. Uh, Prolinette. Something to eat. Yeah, something to eat, yeah. <laughs> and PJ's was a sponsor, is a sponsor mm -hmm. of the parade. We're throwing two ounce uh, coffee packets. Oh, really? Yeah, with uh, uh, PJ's coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Ilmer's, we do Chiwis, Ilmer's uh -huh. Chiwis, Ilmer's car Caramel Corn. Uh, and then we have Giacona Container Company, which is a local company we're mm -hmm. producing. It's a green product. It's a cup, a throwable, you know, like the right. Mardi Gras throw cups, mm -hmm. which those will last forever, and everybody everybody has them in their, their cabinets. And uh, so we're doing, and, and we have a local artist, Simone. Are you familiar with yeah, Simone? Yeah, Simone, yeah. Simone, I, I, I had him... Um, Commission him to do a poster mm -hmm. with a crew of Boo on it, and I took that poster and we took pictures of it. We're going to put that on cups, and we're going to throw three inch by eight inch magnets this year mm -hmm. that will be thrown everybody in the streets. W really nice products. Um, we also have some um, handmade uh, uh, little uh, candy corn necklaces. Mm -hmm. And glass beads or little beads with uh, like the cruise logo in it and a witch on a broom. Right. Lots of little Halloween things. So these will all be individually packaged. So really great stuff. But it, last year when we rolled, uh, we, we, first of all, the, the, the best part of it is we actually rolled through the French Quarter, which there, there's no other parade rolling through the French Quarter with large style floats and double deck floats. So we start down on Elysian Fields and Decatur Street. Mm -hmm go in front of the French Market, St. Louis Cathedral, which is an amazing sight to see big double-deck floats right. going in front of St. Louis Cathedral. We go down to Canal Street, up Canal, you turn at Royal Nan, Chapa Tools, and we end up at Mardi Gras World for our after party uh, mm -hmm. called the Monster Mash. It's a costume ball. Mm -hmm. We're going to have uh, Big Sam's Funky Nation performing at this uh, party this year, and we also have a, a DJ from out in California who will go on at about midnight called Destructo, and we're kicking off Voodoo Fest weekend. We're rolling on Halloween Eve, uh -huh. which is uh, Thursday, October 30th, mm -hmm. and uh, the next day is the beginning of Voodoo Fest, and somebody with Voodoo Fest is going to be riding in the parade. I can't say you yet. You can't say. You can't say yet. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Uh, but Can you give us a little hint? Like a well, chat, got, chat exclusive. Give us a little uh, hint. Well, I've got, I've got two local people that are riding in the parade. One, uh, very well loved by the community, Deuce McAllister. Yes. Saints are playing uh -huh. that night at 725. We start our parade at 630. Uh, they're playing away at North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And Deuce, uh, they're one of the sponsors, uh, the, the old Saint Bar, uh -huh. which is a re bar and restaurant, which is in the 100 block of Royal. And if you've not been there, absolutely an amazing transformation. That 100 block of Royal always 
was kind of didn't look too good. Now yes. that it's being cleaned yeah, up, yeah, it looks and very it, nice. It's a nice gateway mm -hmm. in the Royal uh, and. Deuce is done, that, that restaurant is really good, great food. Um, but he's going to be riding in the parade. We also have Billy Nungasser, Plaquemines, Plaquemines Parish president. Uh -huh. He's the king of the parade right. this year. Last year we had Mark Romig, and this year we're having Billy Nungasser. But it's a local parade. The, 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 everything about it, um, we, we, all the floats are Halloween themed. Mm -hmm. We're going to be reusing the floats year in, year, in, year out because once you do Does the Dracula. Does have a theme this year? Well, it's always Halloween. It's, it's always gonna, Halloween. It's going to be Dracula. Okay. You know, all the, 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 the characters you think of. And the goal is, over time, I want to transform these floats, like really do a nice Frankenstein float, mm -hmm. fully sculpted with great lighting, mm -hmm. with, you know, like Teslas on the back, right. by, all this great special effects. But once you do it, you do it once, you do it well, and you make it along the right. lines of like the Leviathan or the, like one of the signature floats in one of the regular carnival parades. So once it's done, people will associate it with the parade every year. They'll come down. They'll want to come back when they have Absolutely. kids. And it, it's going to be part of tradition, part of tradition in, in New Orleans. And then the best part is all the, the marching groups that we have in the parade. We've got all the, you know, after Katrina, all these new marching groups started popping up yes. because people wanted to participate Pussy, in Carno. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you had the 610 Stompers, uh, you have the, the Pussyfooters, mm -hmm. the, uh, all the, the, the Cherry Bombs. Uh, like we have um, uh, the Fright Riders, which on horseback, they're all dressed up and scary garb right. I mean amazing amazing decorations we we're gonna have O'Perry Walker High School band mm -hmm. well no actually they're out of town I'm, I'm uh, gonna have a couple of they've actually they're participating in parades throughout the country right, right now they're, mm -hmm. they're the uh, so they're not available. We have the organ grinders, mm -hmm. the urban cowboys, which are so you not, have it all. You pulled out yeah, all the stops. Yeah, every, all the every local group, mm -hmm. uh, marching group. We have about 20 of them in the parade. Tell us about before we have to wrap up. Tell us about yeah. Southwest Magazine that you right. you have an ad in there. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, what what happened last year um, uh, before the parade in September? I, I get a, a email blast from Southwest. Win a trip to one of America's most haunted cities, mm -hmm. Key West. Right, and I'm going. Key West, Key West. No, no. Yeah. I called up the people there and I said, you know, New Orleans is definitely the most Mighty haunted. Yeah, 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 it's the most haunted city. Yes. And so you need to come down. And I invited some of their people in, had them ride in the parade, and uh, they had a blast. And they, they, uh, in the September issue this year, they put did to get a, a, a whole article on visiting New Orleans, mm -hmm. and they had a sweepstakes. That's great. And it reaches 3.6 million people. Right. Uh, and so, so a lot a good of people thing saying, for the city. Yeah, and I had I had some people call. I have a, a, a young couple that's coming in, he, he's going to propose to his girlfriend oh, nice. in the parade. So, mm -hmm. so people from all over the country. So before we have to wrap it up, yeah. one more time, tell us where people can get involved, where the parade is again right fast, and when it is. Well, Thursday, October 30th, rolls mm -hmm. through the French Quarter. And if you need more information, you can go to www.crewofboo.com. We also uh, we have about 50 spots left in the parade okay. if people are interested in riding. And the great thing is everybody gets to dress up in their own costume. That's nice. And we have makeup artists that do your face makeup. Mm -hmm. You board the float. So at the after party, not everybody looks the same or who's got right. their own identity and after party we'll have a couple thousand people at it okay well it sounds like a great time and you know in New Orleans we love a great parade so why not you know in a great city to have a great parade for Halloween so we appreciate you doing that and the best of luck to you yeah, and crew to boo thank you for All being right. here on Chet Chat All right, thanks Chet appreciate it you're welcome guys stay right there we'll be right back My life is full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself, but I didn't because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org. So guys, you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and my next guest is a young entrepreneur who is breaking into the fashion industry and giving back at the same time. Randy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So I'm excited that you're here. Tell us about your line of socks, Checkerbox. Checkerbox. So when I was 17 years old uh, at Archbishop Rummel, mm -hmm. um, I had the idea of coming out with a high-end menswear line. Mm -hmm. 
And I remember uh, the first day I thought about it, uh, the name Checkerbox just popped in my head. And I was like, that's very catchy. Because mm -hmm. Checkerbox has never really been taken before. It's, right. it's used a lot, but uh -huh. it's never really branded. So I said, let me use the name Checkerbox. I told my mom and dad about it at the time. Mm -hmm. And they kind of giggled, laughed, uh -huh. like, you want to start a clothing line. <laughs> uh -huh. Who doesn't want to start a clothing right. line? I was like, OK. So I just, they, but they were, they've been supporters since day one. And were they, you always in the fashion? Is this something that just came about, or you always love fashion? I mean, I grew up around uniforms and suits, so uh -huh. I've all, so suits have always stood out to me. Right. You know, the pocket squares, yeah. the socks, the ties. Uh -huh. I've always been, you know, I've I've always loved it. Yeah. I mean, my closet is <laughs> suits, <laughs> suits, ties, like all the above. So, I started designing socks, and I started mm -hmm. just drawing these unique socks out because mm -hmm. I'm always in stores buying the most the the latest thing right and with socks it's always uh, like solid colors mm -hmm. stripes polka dots there's nothing really out there that's so unique right. in my eyes so I had the idea that if I design these fun unique socks mm -hmm. it could do well right and I talked to my parents about it and as time went on I kept pursuing it and pursuing it and then they've been supporting me since then and I was, this was the first sock we designed. It was the signature, uh, the black and white check, uh -huh. checker box. I love it. That's that's awesome. You know, and you know, once again, you're still in high school, and so you know, when I look at socks, I think you know it's a great thing to add to an accessory to a man's wardrobe. Why socks? You could have designed belts. You could have designed you know messenger bags. Right. Why why socks? With well, with men, um, it's very hard to um, really up your style. Uh -huh. It's very hard because there's like a limited amount of what you can do. Right. So I said with socks, you can do anything. Right. So I said, let me just design these unique socks for mm -hmm. even the conservative man who doesn't want to wear all these unique colorful right. palettes. He can wear plain black or white shirt, black right. and white suit pants, and he can up it up with unique socks. Yeah. So I thought that was like in a good sock to start with, like a good idea to start with the socks. So if anybody knows me, they know I love socks. So when I heard about you and your sock line, I was like, you know, we have to have this guy on the <laughs> show. I mean, I think that's that's pretty awesome. And as, like you said, as in men, you know, it's hard to find that thing to accessorize. Women have a lot of things to accessorize, but yeah. with men, you can add that sock and that kind of adds your personality. True. So, you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and you have designed some socks that you're gonna give a part of the proceeds to the Susan G. Coleman Foundation. Right. Talk to us about a couple of the pink socks that you've done. All right, well, I love giving back. Mm -hmm. So I thought October, perfect. So I have the ones I'm wearing right now, mm -hmm. the pink checker box, little gray. Uh -huh. um, my dad used to be a jockey. Right. So I grew up at the fairgrounds, uh -huh. Belmont Stakes, Kentucky Derby. So I did the silks that the jockeys wear Very in nice. races uh -huh. and the, you know, the, the pink sock. Um, also, the flamingo, the pink flamingo. flamingo. Uh -huh. um, I love this because it's very old school to me. Old school, I love the 1950s, yeah. 60s, 70s, uh -huh. old time. And when I saw the pink flamingo, I thought of like Miami. Yeah, so I thought this I, was awesome. To yeah. Yeah. And you know the great thing about your socks, because um, I have a couple of pairs of these, the feel of them, they're not only are they good looking, but they have a really nice you know, feel to it. And I think it's important as men, you know, we always want to look good, but for men, we also want comfort. And I, I think the thing too. about these socks is that they're very, very comfortable and they're very good looking. And so the next thing I want to ask you is, you're in high school. Right. What's next for you? Like, what's the next thing? I mean, you start out with these socks, you're going to graduate from high school. Where does this go from here? Right. Okay, well, I'm a senior at Rummel, uh -huh. so time is limited left in high school. But what I want to do as of the next month, within the next month, I'm uh, going to have a streetwear line, mm -hmm. which is, you know, this is really for suits, casual wear, right. if you go out. Well, with the streetwear, it, it hits everybody. Right. You can wear the streetwear when you go to the gym. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, it's an athletic, it has like an athletic feel to it, mm -hmm. but it, it's also very designed. And those come out within a month. Yeah, so I'm, I, very I, I'm very excited for those. I can tell. I can tell. You know, there's a bright future ahead for you in a Thank lot you. of stuff. Um, you know, you have the LSU socks, the black and white. Your signature socks can be the Saint socks. So there's something. Right. You know, there's something in your line for everybody. And if people were interested in buying your socks, where would they go to do that? Um, Rubenstein's mm -hmm. is has been around the city forever. Uh, mm -hmm. We're being sold at Rubenstein's. Um, we're being sold at Jeff Haberdashy's store mm -hmm. off Severn mm -hmm. in Metairie. And then we also have uh, at the Waldorf Astoria, the, the Roosevelt, we're being sold in the Emporium. So the gift shop. So yeah. that's, 
that that's where we are as of now within the first two months. And they can go online. You have a website. Yes, uh, at uh, CheckerboxUSA.com. Mm -hmm. so. And so you know, I once again, I'm so excited about this whole sock line. Like I said, I see a bright future ahead of you. What do you want to leave with the viewers to you know to make them really want to go and look at your socks? You know, what would what would make me want to buy a pair of socks? The uniqueness of it. Uh -huh. Everybody wants something new. Right. Everybody wants the latest thing. Mm -hmm. So I say, if you're local and you're a big LSU fan, well, impress your friends on game day. If right. y'all are going out somewhere, you have the LSU socks. I mean, and what I, about these hearts? I love the this. hearts. That's a Valentine's Day for me. Uh -huh. I think Valentine's Day. That's perfect. The hearts with the roses in the middle. Uh -huh. I think that's a great sell right there. But uh, I think that's also a great gift as well. Um, <clears throat> the clocks right here. You have the clocks. One okay. of my personal favorites, actually. The clocks right here. So uh -huh. something, something for everybody. It well, goes for everybody. It's, well, look, we need to wrap up, but you know, I could sit here and talk to you forever. I am so happy to know that you are doing this line and so proud of you, and I see big and bright things for you in your future. So, you know, keep in contact and let the viewers know how you're doing. So I appreciate having Thank you Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Guys, we'll be right back with Design Time, and we have a very special guest for that. I needed help finding a doctor. Pace. I needed help with my medication. Pace. I needed help getting around. The Shirley Landry Benson Pace Center is a place that helps seniors remain in their homes providing the care they need. If you or a family member are over 55 years old, you may be eligible for benefits offered by Pace. For more information, contact us at 504-835-0006. Pace, caring for those who cared for us. So guys, this month's Design Time features some of the top trends for 2014, and I'm here with my good friend Brian Bat. Thank Hello. you so much for coming back on glad the Chat Show. Glad to be here. So you got a lot going on, besides <laughs> the fact that you own Hazelnut, which is a great shop on yes. Magazine Street. And in, in Mandeville. And Mandeville, yes. you open up a new location. Yes. Also, you're an amazing actor. Tell me what's going on with oh, that before we get into this. I just wrapped a fun movie with Nicolas Cage called The Runner, and it's okay. all set in New Orleans. It's a political drama. Uh -huh. I did a, a um, short film based on uh, Tennessee Williams' one act called The Palooka, uh -huh. and I have a couple movies waiting to be released, so I'm, I'm all excited. So you're busy. You're all Well, yeah, place. I got to keep busy. I get in trouble if I'm not busy. I was at a movie in 12 Years a Slave, and I... There you are. You popped up. I'm like, there, there's Brian. There you go. You never know. You it's, never know where you're going to be. There's right? so much um, filming down here, too. Uh -huh. I, I travel everywhere for work, but I'm so glad there's such a great booming of the industry down here. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. So talk to us about the design trends sure. for fall 2014. Well, you know, I'm not a real believer in so many trends. Right. That, you know, some other, somebody's going to call it, you know, set these things. I think you kind of set your own trend. And you've got to follow your own your own beat, your own drummer, mm -hmm. and, and pick what you like. I happen to love um, any Anything that's organic and then and also reminds me of New Orleans. Right. And I found this wonderful potter, her name is Allison Evans, mm -hmm. actually out of Maine, and she does all this hand pottery with this oyster theme. And there's uh -huh. there's this is just a sampling. There's tons of bowls and plates and mm -hmm. other service wear. And I just think it looks so great paired with, which is a big trend now, anything yes. metallic. Mm -hmm. So the gold, you can't go wrong with silver and gold with right. anything. It looks great. And uh, a little glam on the uh, little alligator uh, bejeweled uh, napkin ring. When you pulled this out, I thought it was a ring, but actually it was nope, a napkin ring. It right? is a napkin <laughs> ring. And the fun gold chill with uh, uh -huh. uh, you know, a placemat, which really works. It brings it all together. Right. And I like when you know when you entertain. It's, mm -hmm. it's almost like setting a stage. Right. You know, not 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 too much. You mm -hmm. know, but making having some opulence, having some fun with it. You know, and expressing your personality with your tabletop and your design. You're absolutely right. You know, in New Orleans, you know, we love to entertain, mm -hmm. and so all of this stuff that you have here and at your showroom is some stuff that's really great. And I think yeah. that's a you know it's a great way for New Orleans to kind of you know get involved and you know make yeah. sure that when we're entertaining we're doing it good and you're right metallics are huge, huge. this year yeah, they've always been, I don't think they ever go out I'm and really you're right like, about the trends who makes up these trends I know but you know like some of the colors like one of the colors I really love is cypress you know I, I love that and color it comes in with this is um one of the uh Laura Wilder plates that mm -hmm. I helped design, and it's called Majestic Oaks. Mm -hmm. And um, these are food safe, the reverse decoupage, and I have a whole series coming out. We had had a series a, a few years ago that I developed with maps of New Orleans and nice. historic Harper's Weekly images, mm -hmm. of, like mm -hmm. the first Mardi Gras balls and the flambeau oh, nice. carriers. They're all there online, mm -hmm. www.hazelnutneworleans.com. <laughs> 
And um, he knows about a plug or two. <laughs> and this, this is what I'm really excited about. It's beautiful. Vietri. You've heard of Vietri, uh -huh. um, Italian pottery right. in China. Um, we've carried it for years. They're mainly known for their beautiful Tuscan white um, mm -hmm. finishes and different beautiful um, elaborate uh, Italian pottery. They've started a modern line called Lastra. Mm -hmm. It comes in the beautiful white. It also comes in gray mm -hmm. and a beautiful turquoise. But we're going to be the exclusive. Um, we have exclusive nice. for the year uh -huh. for this wonderful red, uh -huh. which as you're going into the holidays, I think will be really fun. But right. it's not just for Christmas. Right. Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day, Fourth of July, uh -huh. President's Day. Right. We have a big dinner. <laughs> on top of no, but also red is just such a great, mm -hmm. vibrant, life-affirming color. Right. You know, and it's fun. Uh -huh. And this, I love this little sandwich and soup Very tray nice. that comes together. Uh -huh. But there's, I mean, oh, there's a couple of hundred items in the line. They're all on online. And then paired with a fun, you know, napkin ring. Right. And uh, of course, the New Orleans Toile. Toile, yeah. New Orleans Toile goes Twal. with everything. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it's all about having fun. Right. And expressing yourself. Uh -huh. You know, not, I don't like to follow too many. There are some rules. Yeah. You know, the fork, where the fork goes and the knife goes. Yeah. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. And then have fun. Experiment. Mm -hmm. If it looks right, it is right. I agree. I agree. You know, we just had a young entrepreneur on, on Randy. Mm -hmm. And I was so impressed the fact that he was still in high school and he was, you know, developed this amazing sock line. When did you realize you had this talent to oh. be a actor and also, you know, develop all this stuff that you've done here? You know, I, I, I have, I've said this many times. I'm a firm believer that life is an and proposition not mm -hmm. an or proposition, right. that you can do this and that, not mm -hmm. this or that. Right. Um, I'm lucky to have people in my life, <laughs> in my life that keep, keep me organized, because right. I'm not really that organized. If I could be make a living just coming up with ideas, mm -hmm. I would do that. Yeah, me too. It's implementing them. Uh -huh. um, like the toile design for the store, it was, I think, the first thing my ADD didn't stop me from doing. <laughs> um, but no, I, I think I always loved design. Right. I loved it as a, as a kid. Uh -huh. I loved New Orleans architecture. I mean, I, all my notebooks in high school and, and grade school, like, draw, I would either draw Mardi Gras floats uh -huh. or shotguns. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. not, not shotguns, but <laughs> shotgun <laughs> houses. <laughs> yeah. And I just, and I also loved acting. Uh -huh. So. It, it, it's a great mix. I do believe that, and just like New Orleans, is a great, great mix. mix. I agree. You know, of the old and the new, the young and the old. Uh -huh. it, it's all great. And I just think, you know, if you have a passion inside of you, mm -hmm. you've got to try and 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 release it and, right. and try. What, what's what what's the worst that can happen? Right. Right. You know? Yeah. I agree. I agree. So we have to wrap up. But once again, I'm always thrilled that you are here. Oh, thanks. Before we wrap up, sure. real quick, tell us. Like, what's the next thing for you? What's, you know, what's oh. the big thing that's going to be well, next Well, this is you? the big thing that I forgot to say. Okay. That um, the creator of this line is mm -hmm. going to be at Hazelnut November 7th, from mm -hmm. 4 to 7, throwing pottery, signing things. His name is Stefano Rosselli, and we're really excited about that. For me, who knows? Right. I could get a phone call tomorrow. Yes, you never know, You right? never know when the phone's going to ring and they're like, oh, we want you for this. Uh -huh. So you just, uh, this, is keep, this is also keeping my creative juices going, yeah. you know, while I'm waiting for that next big thing. I'm writing some more, so mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here on Chad. Thank you, Chad. Good Been luck fun. to you. I know you got a lot of great things coming up, and we'll be hearing more from you, right? All right. So, guys, stay right there. We'll be right back with our DIY. maneuver on my grandma. We had just got her food and then she took a bite of her steak and I was super scared and um, my brother was very little so he had no idea what was going on. I was really scared and so I'm really glad she survived. Guys, this is our favorite part of the Chet Chat Show. It's the DIY part of the show. And I have with me today my good friend, Bentley Graham, is here and he's going to show us a great DIY for fall. Bentley, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So tell me, fall, DIY, what do you have for us today? Well, this was my concept for this, this time of the year. Mm -hmm. You know, we're getting into Halloween, and then right after that, we have Thanksgiving. I was thinking about going to the dollar store, getting a dollar pumpkin. I love a dollar store, by the way, just, yeah. just so you know. You can't, I mean, you just can't go wrong. A dollar, oh. a dollar plastic pumpkin, like we all used as kids, mm -hmm. painting it in the new color of the fall season, which is cypress. I love that color. You know, that color is really beautiful because not only is it a color for fall, but it's a good transitional color for the holiday as well, don't it you think? It really is. So basically all we did is we painted the pumpkin out in the color, and that's it. And you've got the eyes of the pumpkin with a pretty vase, 
and you're set to go for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And if you want to gussy it up with anything else, like a bow in the back <laughs> and the ribbon matches the cypress color as well, you're, re you're set to go. The, um, and then if you want to transition with the same pumpkin after Halloween, mm -hmm. we took some pretty ribbon in the basically the same color uh -huh. and hot glued it. As you see, we've got the hot glue gun here. With every DIY, if you don't have a hot glue gun, oh, you can never you, do it. You, right. it. Listen, no one can live without a, a hot, hot glue gun. gun. I, I mean, agree, I agree. You know, it, it, it's just important to have. Uh -huh. um, so we basically hot glued the um, ribbon around here. Mm -hmm. And again, anyone can sort of take liberties with this. If they're into day glow, they could paint the pumpkin any color they want to, black light, day glow, whatever. Uh -huh. And it could be their own thing. And then take some, like I said, ribbon and put it around it for um, to cover the eyes and everything. And you're set to go for Thanksgiving. You've got something that lasts you for almost two entire months. A beautiful vase, any kind of centerpiece you want it to be. I think that's great. And also, you know, the flowers is something that's gonna can also dictate, you know, whether you want to do it for Thanksgiving or for Halloween, so the color of the flowers is another thing, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely, and I mean, you you know, use your own personal decor as mm -hmm. an as your sort of starting point with the flowers. The vase can be sort of separate to that. You know, the flowers can match whatever your interior uh -huh. is. Most people like have a theme going on for both of those times of year. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's New Orleans. Right. We love Halloween. Right, right. It's just you know one of the special times of the year in New Orleans. Well, thank you so much. That's a, some great DIY tips, and if you want more of these DIY tips, guys, you can go to my website and check out the blog, and Bentley's going to guest blog, and he'll tell us all about how to get this done. Ben, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Guys, I'm excited to announce the launch of my new furnishing line, Iberia Parish. You can visit my website at ChetPoreShowDesign.com to learn more about my exclusive Chet Poor Show handmade furnishings. I hope you've enjoyed today's show and got some really great ideas. I'd like to thank all of my guests for being here. For more information on this episode, you can visit my website at ChetPoreShowDesign.com and click on my blog. You can also follow me on Twitter, at ChetPoreShow. I'm Chet Poor Show, and I've got designs on New Orleans. We'll see you guys next month.